Hello everybody! You already know who this is, and for those of you that don't, I'm Dead Pylons. I'm here to go ahead and explain to you how to do Spire of Stars as fast as humanly possible. Let's go! First encounter, split up your team into two main jobs, Pillar Men and Ad Control. You'll have four people on Pillars, and you'll have two people on Ad Control. Here's a picture of the arena. Red's for the Pillar Men, and Green's the location of Ad Control. One up top and one on the bottom. What you'll need to do is go ahead and pass the ball that spawns on the top of the arena to either side pillar men. And pillar men, once you go ahead and get the ball, you'll need to stand on top of the pillars. Raise them to the top and pass them to the next player. If a pillar is down for too long, the team will wipe. And pillar men, if you stand on the plates without the ball, you'll be engulfed. If this reaches times 10 or 11, you'll die. And if you have the ball, you'll have greed. And if this also reaches times 10 or 11, you'll die. So stand on top of the pillars just long enough to breach into the top and immediately pass it to the next player until the shields in the middle are lowered. Once they're lowered, go ahead and throw the ball in the middle. The ball will need to be thrown in the middle three times. Rinse and repeat until the encounter is completed. This is a transitional area. For this, there will be four checkpoints. Each checkpoint, you'll need three guardians to stand next to the console. Once you have three guardians, pull the lever to make a bridge to the next checkpoint. Follow this path to get to the next encounter. Next encounter, the Celestial Observatory. There'll be two jobs, plates and floaters. Here's a picture of the arena. To start this encounter, you'll need to have plate people step on all their plates. Once you do that, a buff will be passed around, called Superior Retainer. If you're on the plate and you have this buff, go ahead and call it for the floaters to take your spot. Once you go ahead and get that situated, and have everyone step on the plates. Once everyone's on the plates, a beam will go ahead and appear in the middle. If you have Superior Retainer, go up this beam and you'll be in the observatory. Once in the observatory, there'll be three ships. One of these ships will have a symbol above it. Go ahead and call out the symbol. It'll either be square, circle, or triangle. Once you come back, a ball will be thrown to either the left side or the right side of the arena. It doesn't matter who does this part, but whoever picks up the ball needs to go ahead and pick up the mist in the middle. Once you've picked up the mist, you're ready to go ahead and arm the weapon. There'll be three center buttons as the exact same symbols that appeared above the ships. Whoever has the ball needs to go ahead and step on the symbol called out. You'll need one person on each one of these plates to go ahead and open up all the doors. Once the door is open, go ahead and throw the ball into the doorway to go ahead and arm the weapon. Once the weapon is armed, another ball will spawn, and this time, the person who has the superior retainer buff needs to pick up the ball and pick up the mist in the middle. Once this is done, have plate people step back on their plates to spawn the lift and go up. Once you're in the observatory, throw the ball at the ship. Rinse and repeat until the encounter is done. Now you're at the boss fight. Everything's roughly the same from last phase, with some additional steps at the beginning and the end. To start this encounter, you'll need to go ahead and approach the callous robot in the middle. Once that happens, Volus Cowork will fall from the sky. Clear the enemies until he begins to charge up. Once this happens, go to the back of the room in a horizontal line. At this point, everyone will be engulfed. A ball will be thrown to either the left side or the right side and you'll need someone on either end of the line to go ahead and pick up the ball and pass it to the next person. This will go ahead and remove your debuff. Once you've reached the last person in line, that person will go ahead and throw the ball at the boss. Once this happens, the superior retainer buff will be passed around. Don't sit on plates immediately though. This time, gladiators will go ahead and drop down onto these plates. Go ahead and take care of them and then stand on plates. And just like last phase, have someone go up. But now there's going to be two symbols to call out. Call both those symbols out and get ready to grab the balls. This time, there will be two balls. And just like last phase, it doesn't matter who does this part. Go ahead and pick up the ball, step in the mist, step on the symbol plates that were called out. 
throw the ball in the middle and arm the weapons. Once the weapons are armed, two more balls will be spawned. Go ahead and pick up the ball and pass it to the people who have the superior retainer buff. These people will go ahead and grab the mist in middle and go up the lip. Call out who's gonna throw first and who's gonna throw second. Once this is completed, damage phase will begin. There are many ways to go ahead and do this part, but I'm gonna tell you one way. What you can do is go ahead and split up into one team of three, one team of two, and just one person. The team of three will go ahead and run into the blue room on the left. Whoever the team of one is is gonna go ahead and pick up the ball and greet it and pass it to one of the people in that team. Whoever gets the ball in the first team will need to hold on to it for as long as they can. The max you can hold on to these is again 10 to 11, but just be safe and pass it on nine. And you'll need to pass it to one another. Team two will run to either the back window or the orange room and do the same steps. And the single person will just go ahead and pick up the balls and greet it themselves. By the time this happens, Kallus will go ahead and fly up into the air with his hand out. Once this happens, go ahead and throw the balls at Kallus's hand. Once all three balls hit, go ahead and get ready for DPS. Valko or his crit spots are gonna be with crystals on his back. Rinse and repeat until he's in his last stand. In this phase, six balls will go ahead and spawn. Have everyone on your fire team pick him up. Hold on to him until your greed hits times nine. Once this happens, just throw it at the boss. And if done correctly, you'll be done with the raid. On the off chance that you don't go ahead and kill him with the balls, you can still do damage. Go ahead and finish him with whatever you can if the balls don't do it. If you vibe with these kind of guys, please leave a like. Or hell, even subscribe to the channel. It inspires me to make more. And if you want me to go ahead and make a guide for anything else, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, and have a good one. Bye.